Hey there, welcome to my studio. Happy Friday, I am Daniel Norton. Today we're gonna to talk a little bit about getting the best photos. Bom, bom, bom. Um, I get this question a lot, and you know, I've done a lot of seminars and a lot of open shoots where I set things up and we'll take some quick photos and then somebody will look at it and, the, and, and they'll go to the same setup with the same model and the same setup and they'll take the images and they'll say, you know, I don't feel like my images are as good as the ones you did. And then I'm just talking about me, I'm not trying to pat myself on the back, I'm saying anybody, anybody who sets these things up. And I think part of that is because when you're first starting out, you are not necessarily taking into consideration some of the important things that are needed to make a good photo. So um, I'm gonna run through these. I think, I think there's three things I wanna talk about. We'll find out, we only have five minutes. So the first thing that I wanna say is when, you're, when you pick up your camera, and this is very important, especially for portraits, because I think we're quickly distracted. Look at the entire frame. When I was in photo school, I remember the, the teacher used to tell us to put the camera to your eye and with, the, with your eye, like look and like trace the edges of the frame. Look around the entire viewfinder. Oh, hopefully the building doesn't fall over. Make sure that you're seeing what's in the frame. Because I think a lot of times people will make images and they will be distracted, right? Um, if you don't want something in the shot, make sure you take it out, either with your cropping or by going and physically moving it. Like here I am, you're looking at the whole frame. This is not a super well composed setup, but it is for video because I'm showing you in my studio. You can see some equipment back here. You can see this in a clothing rack, right? I've, I've thought about this. I, I spent hours setting this up, but think about what's in the frame, right? And again, this would not be a great photo. It's very, very, very simple, right? Um, look at the whole frame, make sure whatever's in there, that's background, foreground, everything, is what you want. The second thing you want to do is make sure you're picking a subject to focus on. So that could be literal, you know, shooting, let's say, wide open and focusing on something so the rest all goes blurry. Or it could be uh, where you put them in the frame, either being really far in front of everything else or taking up most of the frame. It could also be with lighting, right? You've got a large scene and you light one specific thing. This will allow the viewer to kind of know what the photo is supposed to be about, right? You're looking at the photo um, and you want to know this is what it's about. Right? If you're shooting, let's say, a landscape and you want to focus on this tree, then you want to make sure that that tree is prominently placed, or maybe there's like some sky behind it so it sticks out, or whatever. Right? This is what we want to do. Pick a subject and make that subject your, your, your focus. So you've got your overall scene and you've got your focus. Right? And the third thing I'm going to say, which is maybe, <laughs> maybe counterproductive to what I'm saying, counterintuitive, is that don't overthink it. Right? Typically, as creative people, um, when we see something, we see something, right? We see something that sticks out to us and that immediately makes us want to take the picture. So go with that impulse and don't forget what that was, right? Don't, don't like notice out of the corner of your eye this cool thing and you want to photograph it and then you start overanalyzing. Oh, well, no, rule of thirds or, you know, ideal proportions and this and that and contrast and, you know, there's something that drew your eye to it and our job as a photographer is to let the world see, you know, the world being whoever sees your pictures, um, see the thing that we did, right, and as we saw it. So don't overthink it, go with what your gut says, but look at the entire frame, make sure that you have a subject, a clear subject, so that people looking at the image will understand what that subject is, and that will get you way closer to a, a good or a great photo than all the rule books, you know, that you'll be able to read. This is it, right? We want people to draw people's attention in, and we want it to be uh, something interesting, and that's what brought up, that's what made us see it, right? But we can be overwhelmed, right? We see, we have a great subject, they have a great smile, we're interacting with them, we forget about the composition, we forget about something sticking out of the, the side of their head, we forget about, you know, uh, getting in too close so it's cropped in a weird way, we forget about keeping it level. Those are the things that over time, mechanically, your body will get used to doing correctly, but when you're first starting, really think about those things. The great smile, the great expression, whatever, will only get you so far. You want it to feel uh, complete, and in order to do that, you need to think of these other things. So let me know if there's other things. Those are just the three things that I thought of when I was sitting here. Um, I hope you're doing well. Let me know what else you want me to talk about here, guys. Uh, keeping this going. I think I did a live stream uh, a while back. I think I'm gonna start doing more live streams, so be on the lookout for that. And if you have not already, go ahead and subscribe, ring the bell so you get all the notifications, and I'll see you next time.